Hello, Internet people. Welcome back to Future Fiber. This is your host, Jenny. And today we're going to be talking about t shirt patterns. It snowed yesterday, so summer is not really coming anytime soon. But knowing the speed at which I knit, it is not、uh, ridiculous to say that I should probably get started on my knitting for summer now. And I am on the hunt for the perfect summer t shirt pattern. So, when it comes to summer knitting, I am kind of picky and I have some criteria. s So, let me read you those criteria s now. The first thing is no cap sleeves. By cap sleeves, I mean like those little sleeves that come up and cut your arm off right around here, just past the shoulders. The patterns that I was looking at, I wanted to either have the ability to adjust the pattern so that I could knit the sleeves longer. Or just it's designed without those little minis. I also wanted to look at patterns that had a little bit of sleeve cap shaping. So, this is different from cap sleeves. Like, if we're talking about the anatomy of a sleeve, the sleeve has like the sleeve main body, but then it also has this like sloped shape. If you're looking at a sewing pattern of some sort to kind of give you、um, enough fabric up top. So, that you don't get a lot of bunching in the armpit area. So, if the pattern says to incorporate, or if I feel like the pattern is adjusted for that kind of shape, that was also something that I was looking for. And another thing was just about the neckline. I'm pretty particular about the neckline of my tops. And this is going to be a list of all the no's for me. So, the first thing is no boat neck. By boat neck, I mean anything that comes up kind of high but is pretty wide up this way. And that just for me doesn't really look that good on me. And I feel like it's not, well, depending on the garment, it's not really contemporary per se. I feel like it was really popular in like the 2010s, and I just, I've worn enough of those already. <laughs> I'm moving on. Another thing is no super deep necklines. Any Like, and it doesn't matter if it's a V or a U or anything like that. I just, I don't really have a lot going on in the chesticle department. It just makes me uncomfortable. All the bras that I wear are kind of sports bras and they come up kind of higher on the chest. And I don't really like that kind of like tank top underneath the V line look. I feel like I got enough of that in my high school years and middle school years with like Abercrombie and Fitch. So I'm moving on from that. And then the next thing is no mock necks. I love a mock neck tee, but I just feel like for knitted summer garments, it's too much. It's too hot. And then lastly, I excluded patterns that were all、um, kind of round yokes. If a top has a round yoke, it feels more like a sweater than a t shirt. If you look at a commercially made t shirt, it usually is made of four parts. You have the sleeves and then you have the front and the back. So I just wanted to have that kind of vibe going for me. Another thing was all these patterns are stockinette. And we all feel some type of way about stockinette. Some people love it, some people hate it. But for the sake of a basic t shirt, I just felt like. Any sort of pattern would be a little bit more in the statement piece department. So I wanted just a basic stockinette t shirt pattern. So those were some of the criteria. s So the first category I want to talk about is the baby tees. And what this kind of looks like for me is I feel like the construction generally is a little bit more form fitting and maybe designed with negative ease.、Um, but I also think what, con- like, Contributes to a baby tee look is to have the shoulder seams come in、uh, a little bit more than your actual shoulder line. So it kind of gives you the fit of it looking a little bit small on you. And the first pattern that I want to talk about in this category is the Feels Right Tee by Lily Kate France. And this is a pattern that is paid and it's knit with fingering weight yarn. On 3.25 millimeter needles.、Um, so it's going to be a bit of, a <laughs> bit of work to knit it all up. It has nine sizes, and the finished bust circumference goes up to 162 centimeters for the largest size. This pattern is knit top down, and 
I like that a lot because it gives you obviously more flexibility in how long you can knit the sleeves or how long you can knit the body. And the Feels Right tee is supposed to be designed with about two centimeters of positive ease, but because of what I mentioned about the shoulders kind of coming in a little bit smaller than your design, uh, your natural shoulder line. I feel like it fits that vibe of a baby tee really well. The sample is knit up with this stripe going um, through the tee with contrast uh, collar and contrast ribbing on the arms. And I think that's a really cute kind of baby tee look. Me personally, I would probably knit it in solid because I. I don't know, I just, I'm averse to color, I guess. So the next pattern that is on this baby tee kind of section is the Mi Oh My tee by Park Williams. And this is honestly the t-shirt that kind of started me on this trajectory of looking at t-shirt patterns. Um, I saw this on Instagram and I thought it was a great uh, basic t-shirt pattern and it's knit bottom up and it's knit in DK weight, so it's going to be a way faster knit than the first pattern that I talked about. It is also pretty size inclusive. It goes up to 5XL, and this is designed with 0 to 4 inches of negative ease. So for me, I would probably opt on the 0 side because I don't like things to be super tight on me, but I think it looks really good on people. Um, who've knitted it up in the negative ease sizes as well. And I love that this has this kind of cut off hem looking edge. So it's knit in stockinette, but then the bottom of it is not, um, it doesn't have any ribbing or any sort of finishing. So it kind of rolls up slightly to have that kind of cut off t-shirt look. And I, I love that as like part of the design element. And I, I don't really have a lot to say about it. It looks like a really good pattern. It just looks like a t-shirt, <laughs> which is what I want. The next and last tee in this baby tee category is the Summer League Cutoff by Alexandra Tavel from Two of Wands. And this is also knit in DK weight yarn. So it's going to be a fast knit as well. This is a top down raglan and it has a cool detail in the front. That's kind of like an X, um, by the neckline to kind of imitate the stitching that you would get from some t-shirts and raglan t-shirts and things like that. So I think that's super cool. This also has a cutoff looking hem. So on the, um, the sleeves as well as the bottom of the t-shirt, it has that rolled stock in an edge to give it that kind of uh, cutoff look, which I think is cool. And this is actually a free pattern. Um, you could purchase a pattern um, on Ravelry and I believe on our website and as part of her Lions brand collaboration, but you could get the pattern for free um, with ads on her website, which is always good. And this is also a pretty size inclusive pattern. It goes up to 4XL, the finished bust circumference for the largest size is 163.5 centimeters. This t-shirt is designed with Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Blend. So it's like 50% polyester and 50% cotton, but I, which I would imagine the polyester kind of gives it that um, stretchy look to it. So I would kind of take that into consideration as you uh, choose your yarn. So that's all in the baby tee department. Now we're heading into the regular T category. So this is, there's a lot more patterns in this category because this is my kind of favorite fit of t-shirt, I guess. Um, and what I've tried to add in here is basically some sort of positive ease, but not more than 10 centimeters, basically. Um, so it's designed to look like a sander t-shirt, but with a little bit room all around. So the sleeves aren't as tight. The shoulder seams are pretty like right on the shoulder or a little bit past the shoulder, but not to a point where it's like drop shoulder. So that was a category that I was working with. Um, the first thing that I want to share in this category is the perfect knit t-shirt. And this is by the designer, Caitlin Bartold of Originally Lovely. 
Um, and this is a free pattern that you can get on her website. You can also pay $5 um, to get it on Ravelry on her website um, to be in a PDF format and uh, without ads. But I feel like the website itself does a good job of displaying all the information. So this is also a DK weight uh, pattern. Pattern goes up to 5x and the finished bust circumference for the largest size is 64 inches which is 162.56 centimeters oh this is also knit top down so adjusting length and stuff is going to be really really easy and the original is knit with lion brand kobu which is cotton and bamboo mix i personally hate this yarn not to like throw any shade on Lion's Brand, but this is a really splitty yarn and I feel like it doesn't wear that great. So I would probably, if I knitted this, I would substitute it out with a different yarn that is DK weight. This is a crew neck raglan um, t-shirt. And I feel like with raglans, um, I am a little bit particular about how they look in a t-shirt pattern. Um, I think they need to have that kind of drapey quality and the length of the sleeves also matters a lot for raglans to really look like t-shirts for me. Um, so, but this really kind of ticked off all the boxes. The edges of the shirt are bound off in I-cord, uh, which gives it a really neat finish. Um, and I would personally, once again, knit the sleeves a little bit longer, but other than that, I feel like this is a really good pattern. And the neckline is just just wide enough. I feel like if it was any wider, I wouldn't want to knit this, but I feel like it does a good job of um, adjusting the crew neck um, so that it's not too wide on your shoulders. The next t-shirt pattern that I want to talk about is the Riley tee from the designer Rachel Kurihara. And this is a top-down kind of slightly dropped shoulder it's designed with about three to five inches of positive ease in the bust. So that's 7.6 to 12.7 centimeters of positive ease in the bust. I didn't actually mention the sizing for this garment. It goes up to 5XL, which means 65 inches or 165 centimeters roughly at the largest size and that is including the intended positive ease. The sample is knit in 100% merino. Obviously I would choose a summer yarn because I, I absolutely cannot wear wool in the, in the summer. The construction of the overall pattern looks really professional, I think, especially around the neck area. Um, it looks like it has a double knit um, collar, but it's done in a way that doesn't seem like it's super bulky to wear. You have some um, room between your neck and the collar, so that seems like it's just like a good, nice finish, and it doesn't look very hot. Um, and it also has some interesting details down the shoulder, which makes it look like it's like kind of like seamed. It looks like it has a seam, um, but I don't think it's like so like crazy that it's like a statement piece. Um, and what I really like about this design is that it seems to have shoulder shaping so it looks like it has short rows to kind of make the top this the top of the sleeve a little bit longer than the the bottom of the sleeve so that you can get a natural like drop shoulder look without your <laughs> without your sleeve kind of like flaring out like this which it is sometimes a problem with um, drop shoulders Amy from Knee Knits actually knit this one already and her uh, and she talks about it a little bit in her podcast episode. Let me, I'll, I'll link it if I can find it. But the next one in the regular tee category is Knit T-shirt by, uh, it's a Pearl Soho design. Um, but this pattern is a free pattern, which is it's knit bottom up and around and then you split for the front and the back and then you join the top and then add the sleeves in. It goes up to a 2XL and the finished bust circumference for the largest size is 50 inches, which is 127 centimeters. And it has a uh, set in pocket, which is like the detail for this shirt. But honestly, I would omit the pocket. Pockets and t-shirts, like what do you put in there? Like you put in a pen? I'm never gonna put anything in it. And I'm of the opinion that pockets for the most part should be functional. So I would just leave the pocket out in my opinion. But I don't have a lot to say about this other than that it looks really good. Like. 
it looks like a t-shirt i feel like out of all the patterns that i suggest um in this video this one looks the most like a t-shirt <laughs> the next t-shirt pattern um, that i want to talk about is the duo top by the knit pearl girl and this is a dk weight pattern and it's knit on four millimeter needles and it goes up to size j so this pattern has 10 sizes and the chest measurement for the largest size is um, 135 to 145 centimeters. Well, it's a top-down raglan, so once again, in the adjusting length department, this is a go. Uh, the only thing that is a little bit different for this pattern is that it has a little keyhole design in the back of the neck, which could be interesting, you know, if you want something different. Pretty neat finishes. It looks like it has an I-cord bind-off edge on the around the neckline and around the sleeves and the bottom of, of the garment. It's just like a fold it up hem i think this is another good option if you um personally have i haven't knit any of the knit pearl girl um, patterns but i heard they're good so if you want something that's a little bit more beginner friendly the next pattern i wanted to talk about is the square tee by arohi palkar this is a pay for pattern that you can purchase on ravelry and it's a dk weight pattern but it's knit on 3.75 millimeters and it's knit with Saniscarn Line, Line, Line. And the pattern goes up to 4XL and the um, bust size is 137 to 147 centimeters at the largest size. It has an intended ease of one to five inches, which is 2.5 to 12 centimeters. What I like about this tee is that, as the name suggests, is that it has a square neckline, which is different from all the other um, kind of patterns that I've shown so far. Pattern is knit top down, and it looks like, just like me guessing from the pictures, it looks like it's kind of like a saddle shoulder shaping, but with just one line dividing the front and the back. It looks like it also uses I-cord edging all around to finish. The garment up which gives it a nice neat looking um finish also seems like it gives you a lot of options of how to adjust like the length of it and things like that i will definitely um, put this on my list to knit i think next pattern that i want to talk about is not actually a pattern it's a kind of a recipe i guess um, and the pattern is T3 by Susan Jackson Gonzalez. And it's a older pattern from um, 2004, but it was um, published in Nitty. Um, so you can get this for free. But how this works is that they have a calculator um, and a schematic that you can look at to kind of get the numbers that you need for the calculator. And then you use those stitch counts to make your own t-shirt. And this has not that many projects on Ravelry, honestly, but um, just even looking at the sample pictures that the pattern designer has put up on Nitty and just on, um, on Ravelry, I feel like this could be a really good option for you if you want a um, tee that is fitted to your measurements, basically. Yeah, so this doesn't even have a suggestion on yarn weight <laughs> because that's also part of the calculation. So if you have a DK weight or, you know, fingering weight or even worsted weight, you could definitely use that to knit any t-shirt to your liking, um, which is very, very cool. The next three t-shirts kind of have a similar vibe. They, and I say that because they are all v-neck t-shirts with some sort of like slight positive ease and with sleeves that come kind of mid um, upper arm. So the first one that I wanna talk about is the Seedling Tee by Celine Phaeton. And this is a DK weight pattern um, and it's knit on uh, US fours, which is 3.5 millimeters and um, three millimeters. This is a pretty basic like V-neck t-shirt. And I think this is a good option for you if you um, want to knit a v-neck t-shirt but you don't want to knit in fingering which is the next two <laughs> options that i'll talk about it's knit top down which gives you a lot of options for adjusting um, the length the largest size is 
at 154.5 centimeter finished bust measurement. The cool thing about this pattern is that it, the pattern designer has a coupon for knitters who are in the size six to nine. So um, you can, if you are looking to knit that size, you can use the coupon to kind of um, get a little bit of a discount. It's not, not too much else to say about it. All the projects that are on Ravelry look really good. And the um, design is called Seedling Tee because the edges of the sleeves and the bottom of the uh, t-shirt is finished in seed stitch. So it's a little bit of a different um, look from an I-cord or um, one by one ribbing or folded up hem like we talked about so far. So a little bit, little bit of a different design element. So the next two V-neck t-shirts, it's, I debated like putting these in because they're so popular, um, but I, I do really like them. So I just thought I would throw them in here. Um, the first one is the Moonset Tee by Ozetta. And this is a fingering weight uh, pattern. And the recommended uh, yarn is Knitting for Olive Pure Silk, which gives it the, you know, nice drape. But I think any fingering weight yarn will do. This pattern goes up to size 5XL. And then the finished bust circumference for that is 160 centimeters at the largest size. I think the main thing about this uh, pattern is that it has that kind of overlapping collar detail, um, which I think is really good. Um, it's different from a lot of t-shirt patterns that are out there. So if you want to give it a still kind of classic look, but then you want to have a little bit of a different neckline detail, I think this is it. I really also like that this is slightly drop shouldered um, and the sleeves go down to um, the middle of your upper arm, which is, as I said before, one of my favorite kind of looks, I guess, for a t-shirt. And it looks really breezy for the summer and it's a fingering weight yarn, so it's gonna be a commitment <laughs> knitting the stuff, but it's, I think it's probably going to be worth it um, at the end. And the last pattern in this kind of like regular t-shirt category is a cumulus tee and it's by Petit Knit. This pattern, I have knit a version of this already. It was a drag, it was a torture. It was not fun to knit, I'll be honest with you, but the end product looks really good. I think I knitted a size small, but then the final measurements ended up being more like medium. So I would just take that into consideration and really gauge swatch. The recommended yarn is Knitting for Olive Pure Silk. So this is pretty comparable to the Ozetta pattern. I would say just, you know, depending on what you like better and depending on size range, um, I would just go either or. This is a top-down raglan pattern, but the way that the raglan kind of sits on the edge of your shoulders makes it almost look like, you know, just a regular t-shirt, um, which is pretty cool. I'm um, personally probably, I thought about knitting this again. I probably won't because I just did it once and it looked good, but I don't need another one. <laughs> I will, if I want a similar look, I will probably choose to knit the Ozata pattern instead. Yeah, not a lot to say about this particular pattern. It looks really good when it's finished, but it's a drag. So put that into consideration. And there's a ton of projects for this. There's like almost 2000 projects on Ravelry. So um, use that as a point of reference. Okay, so we're almost at the end and the next category is the oversized tee category. And this is anything that is designed to be really oversized on a person. These two are both free patterns. The first tee that I wanna talk about in this oversized tee category is the Minimal Tee by Rena K. This is a pattern that is knit with sport weight yarn um, and it goes up to 2XL and the final chest circumference measurement for the garment is 142 centimeters. But um, as you can see in the pictures, it's designed to have a lot of positive ease. It has this drop shoulder design. And, uh, and then I guess you pick up the sleeves, stitches, and then knit from there. This pattern is available as a free Ravelry download, or I think there's also a accompanying YouTube video as well. So, but I think the YouTube video is in Korean, um, maybe with English captions. So I would take a look at that if you want some video um, visual <laughs> instructions on this pattern. 
I think it could be a good addition. Um, I think if you knitted it longer, you could also wear it as a t-shirt dress. I guess the one thing that is interesting about this pattern is that it's sport weight, but that it's a net of five millimeter needles, and I feel like that's going to give it a really loose gauge. So I would just, you know, check with the yarn that you have and check it against the gauge before you start knitting on it. But this is a top down um, pattern, so you have a lot of flexibility in adjusting length. Not so much the fit, <laughs> but the length. And the last t shirt. I want to talk about is the Sandy Beach sweater and the Zasari Nordland pattern. Um, it's available for free on the Nav Navita Knits website and uh, it's a DK weight pattern and it's knit in four millimeter needles for the main section of the body. So this is actually described as a sweater but I feel like if you knit it with cotton or um, some sort of like linen blend it could be a really good summer knit um it looks very professional it looks like something that you could buy honestly at a store like cost or something because of it has a very contemporary look the folded over hems on all the edges look very professional i think i already mentioned that this goes up to 2xl but the body circumference when it is finished is 146 centimeters at the largest size this also looks like it's going to take a long time and it also looks like it's going to take a lot of yarn to be just simply because of the size this is definitely a commitment project um but i feel like if you want this kind of cost slash um h&m like i don't know that kind of look i feel like this could be a really good option for you so that's the end that's the that's the list that i have I don't know from this list what I would actually end up knitting, mostly because I'm on a yarn ban and I also have to look at what's in my stash and what matches up with the yarn measurements. Uh, but I'm, you know, excited to have this list. I really went down a rabbit hole of um, browsing Ravelry and just doing random Google searches for these designs. Um, and let me know if you knit any of them or if you know of any other t-shirt patterns that you've knitted in the past and you really really like i feel like the criteria that i set up in the beginning really knocked out a bunch of um good looking patterns there's a ton of good patterns especially from designers like um jesse may designs has a bunch of really good t-shirt patterns and um james watts also has a couple of good t-shirt patterns as well i just like based on the category that i set out for myself when i started doing research for this video this is the list that we ended up with. So let me know what you guys think. See you guys later. See you next week. And uh, okay, bye.